943, welcome back. From jiu-jitsu and kickboxing to wrestling, there are plenty of gyms in South Central PA that offer training, whether you're an amateur fighter, pro, or want to learn self-defense. Travel to Anvil, Lebanon County, and you'll find Five Stones Fight Club, where all these aspects are practiced. However, this gym operates for a different reason. In this week's segment of MMA in PA, we look at how the gym gives back to communities near and far. The goal of Five Stones Fight Club isn't necessarily to train the world's toughest or strongest fighters, but rather provide an outlet and introduction for those who might not have thought about martial arts in the first place. They don't operate as a business, but rather a Christian ministry that gives back to the local community and creates connections through intense physical activity. They kind of started the gym um, in order to have fellowship with, with other believers that were there you know, of kind of the same mind. The name Five Stones comes from the Five Stones of David in the Bible, where the text describes him fighting and beating Goliath against all odds. Every Sunday morning, they hold a church service right next to the cage, where they also host food drives and provide other services to local residents. Over the years, they've also sent many of their volunteers overseas to Kurdistan and other war-torn areas in the world. So there's an external mission here that is meant to love our neighbor as we love ourselves, as Christ commanded us to. Our neighbors are in Kurdistan, and our neighbors are right here. This summer, a group traveled to northern Iraq to provide humanitarian relief to refugees from Syria and displaced people in Kurdistan. There's a lot of people that are displaced because of ISIS, um, and they're very, very poor. Um, so when we go over there, we try to just provide relief for them. While there, they train missionaries and the Kurdish military for tactical medical situations. And they're coming out of a recent war, and so well, the only thing most people have is their families. And they, you know, if you start building a really solidified life, you never know when war is going to come to your area again, and you could lose it all. Because of that, you know, they're they're really receptive to any any help they can receive. Um, you know, the the people that we're helping are the people that were living in villages in the mountains where ISIS is now occupying, and so they can't go home. From the cage to the mats to life in the real world, volunteers at the gym live by the phrase, iron sharpens iron. They believe relationships are strengthened and a family is created through hardship. Everybody's welcome. It's great to have a place like that where, again, the MO is not self, the MO is not building the institution, the kingdom, the budget. The MO is the loving the people, everybody that walks through the door. That just, that just creates a, a really great family. Now the gym welcomes people from all walks of life. So the next time you're in Anvil and want to hit the bags, break a sweat, or just see some friendly faces, they encourage you to stop by. And that concludes our four-part introduction to mixed martial arts in the region. But we'll be keeping a close eye on the latest MMA and combat sports news in the area and are looking forward to the October 29th fight card at the Lebanon Valley Expo Center. You can check out the details for Art of War Cage Fighting 26 on our website, fox43.com.